don't even know what we should do today. But I have a good idea. Let's choose some interesting motorhome and go somewhere. Look, what a cool mobile home here. I really like him, and I think we could look at him. Hello, seller. Can you please tell us more about this cool mobile home? Because we would like to buy it, and we are very interested in what is there. Yes, of course. I'll tell you about this cool and beautiful house. This is a mega new house on wheels made of mega durable material so that it won't break or crash anywhere. Inside, there is absolutely everything you need for convenience. You can watch TV there, cook food, and play games on the computer. It can also go as long as you need because there is also power from electricity, and then it can go much longer. There are very cool and durable wheels that can go on any surface, and absolutely nothing will happen to them. I think it's really cool. Therefore, if you buy this house, you definitely won't regret it, and we'll have a really great time on some distant trip. We really like this house, so take the money and we'll buy it. It's a pleasure to do business with you. Thank you for recommending this cool house. What a cool and beautiful mobile home we have! I already want to quickly see what is inside. Wow, there are so many cool things here. And there is a toilet too. This is very cool. I have an idea. And let's go on a long journey somewhere very far beyond our village to see something new. But for this, we need to go home and pick up all the important things that we will definitely need on the trip. Such as a bed and all the necessary means to live in peace. So let's quickly run and take all the things we need. I totally agree with you. This is a very cool idea to go on a long journey and see everything that is outside our village. It's good that you came up with the idea to collect all the things we need. It seems to me that we have already taken everything we need to have at home. Now let's quickly go back to our mobile home and take all the things that we took at home and put them in the right places. We'll put up our beds, shelves, and all the necessary things so that we can feel comfortable and comfortable and we also don't need to forget about food. And then when we do all this and everything is ready, we can go with you on the trip that we've been dreaming about for so long. I am sure that it will be very exciting and fun and you and I will have a great time these summer days. Ah, uh, how well we are driving and what a beautiful view outside the windows of our mobile home. But it seems our fuel is already running out and we will stop now. Yes, we really ran out of fuel. It's so good that we stopped next to some village. Let's go there and ask where we can get fuel to refuel our car. Hello, resident. Could you tell me where there is a gas station nearby so we can buy fuel for our car? Yes, of course. There is a gas station not far outside the city. There will also be railway tracks next to it. You will understand everything. Thank you very much for telling me where the gas station is. Quickly, let's go to that place and buy gasoline from the cellar there so that we can move on and not interrupt our cool journey. Great, we're almost at our destination. Hello, we would like to buy some gasoline to fill up our car. Well, of course, I always have gasoline for people who need it to fill up their car. Take it and move on. Great. Now we have gas and we can head back to our motor home to fill it up with gas and continue our cool and exciting journey and not stop for any more problems. Great, we managed to refuel the car. That's it. Now you and I can safely move on. And don't worry about what might happen. Stop! Look at this village. Some bandits attacked and they set fire to all the houses of the residents and want to kill them. Oh no, we need to do something but we don't have any weapons or anything with which we could defend ourselves. You need to be careful and watch what they do so as not to fall under them. Because they have weapons. At least they can set everything on fire. And then they can kill us. You need to be really careful to survive in these terrible conditions. Who would have thought that we would come to this village just to fill up our car with gasoline? And it would turn out that some terrible bandits would attack it. We need to hide somewhere and watch what happens. The main thing is that these bandits do not go to our house and decide to set it on fire because then we will stay here for a long time. After all, we will be walking for a very long time back to our house. I am very worried that they will break our house. Well, for now we can only hide somewhere and watch what they are doing there. Because we have no other weapons and no other option to defend ourselves. Oh no! Look! They are already coming to our house and clearly want to either set it on fire, blow it up, or rob it and then set everything on fire. 
We urgently need to think about what to do and how we can protect our mobile home. Otherwise, we will stay here forever or we will be here asking for money from all the people because we won't have our own. There are no other options. You need to attack them. Let's run faster and kill these terrible bandits. Get scary bandits. You will die now and will not do anything bad with our mobile home and you will not touch these residents again. They will live in peace. Get out, you terrible bandits! Yoo-hoo, you and I killed these terrible bandits who set fire to the entire village, killed some residents and wanted to destroy our van. But we protected our mobile home and killed these terrible bandits. And now we urgently need to help the residents of this village put out all the houses that these terrible bandits set on fire. Because if we don't make it in time, then the whole village will burn down. And then all the residents and children of these residents will live on the street. And most likely they will die from cold and hunger. But you and I are the best friends and always help everyone. Therefore, we are obliged to help them save their homes so that they can live in peace and not worry about the dangers that may happen to them. They are not to blame for anything. It was only these terrible bandits who wanted to make their lives bad. And we always help everyone out. So we are now putting out this fire in this village. Moreover, there are good people here who helped us refuel our mobile home. So this definitely needs to be done. Excellent! We helped the residents of this village and now we can safely continue on our journey as you and I planned. How good everything is! You and I have arrived at some beautiful, beautiful clearing. You and I have been driving for so long that I suggest we take a break. Let's go for a walk in this clearing now. Let's first hunt pigs and sheep to get some meat. And then we'll make a fire and cook ourselves some food. After all, we didn't take much food with us. And now this will be useful to us. Firstly, we'll warm up, run around and look for these sheep and pigs. Secondly, we will get free food because we will catch these sheep and pigs and then we can cook their meat. These are just some advantages. This is for us. What a beautiful clearing here where you and I can calmly run and do whatever we want. Great! You and I got enough meat! Now let's lay out small rugs and make a fire in the center so we can cook this delicious meat later! Oh no! It started to rain, and now our place is now pouring rain very quickly, and we won't be able to cook anything with you. Besides, that meat turned out to be unsuitable. We need to run faster to hunt more sheep to get more meat, and then you and I will build a house and make a fire there, and then we can calmly cook for ourselves and relax. But we have very little time, because I don't want to get completely wet and freeze in this forest. We need to get these sheep faster, so that we have as much meat as possible, so that later we can fry it and eat or sleep with you. Who would have thought that it would rain so unexpectedly and ruin all our wonderful plans? Not long ago, the sun was shining so beautifully, and you and I had a great walk through this clearing. Well, that's okay. Now you and I will quickly gather enough sheep so that we have enough food. And let's go build a small house to wait out this rain. Great! You and I got as much meat as we need, and now we will build a house! We need to build a small, temporary house to wait out this rain, and so that there we can light a fire and fry the meat that we just got for a tasty meal. You're doing a great job building a house! As always, you know how to build a really strong and reliable house very quickly and coolly. You're just a pro at this. I understand that you and I are best friends and that you can do such cool things. Oh no, a lot of evil wolves have come to us and it's unclear what they want from us and most likely they will kill us. You and I have fallen into a very dangerous trap and we have nowhere to go, but let's give them food. Maybe then they will become kind and leave us and won't attack. I think this is how it will be. Phew, thank God these wolves remained good and decided not to attack us for giving us meat. You and I had a great meal and, in principle, we need to go to our mobile home and drive further along our planned trip so as not to miss anything and be on time everywhere. It's so good that everything is great! Great! You and I have arrived at some steep clearing with a beautiful forest. The rain had just stopped and I was already tired of driving for so long. 
Let's go for a walk with you again. Let's take a walk through this beautiful forest and look for something interesting in this forest. I'm sure she'll be able to find something here with you. I really just hope that you and I won't end up with some scary wolves again who want to eat us because this time we no longer have meat to pay them off and I hope that it won't rain again and ruin our outing for us because then we'll have to go back to our van and move on. Oh, look! It's so beautiful there! And there's a beautiful river! Let's quickly jump in and swim! It's so hot outside that I just can't walk anymore! I'm completely sweaty, and quickly I want to plunge into this cool and beautiful water to relax and get incredible pleasure from the fact that you and I are relaxing in this nature. There are no people here at all! Birds are singing and it's so beautiful! How fun it is to swim in the water and it's so cool that now I'm not as hot as I was before! Yes, I love swimming in the river because it's a lot of fun! And you can do a lot of very cool and interesting things! What a cool and fun swim we had! But I'm already very tired, and that's why I think that we need to go to our van and drive back home. Because it's already getting dark, and in general I'd like to just play some computer games now home and don't go anywhere. But we will leave this van forever, after all, when we want to go with you on some long journey. We can always take it and have a great time. Yes, this is probably one of the best purchases we have ever made. After all, she brought so much joy and so many new emotions and impressions that I can't even convey. I can also imagine how you and I will come home and lie down on our sofas. Someone will watch TV. Someone will play computer games. Or maybe we'll even eat some delicious watermelon because it's really very hot outside. So you and I have finally arrived in our village. And it's already full night outside and I'm so tired. Quickly run to our home. Now we will do the things we dreamed about while we were driving our motor home. This is very cool. Today we spent time with you. And I won't soon forget all these adventures that happened today.